the code on the computer. Okay, that's fine. Okay, can you all see my whiteboard? Transformation, question two from the June paper. Draw the image of triangle A after reflection along the line Y is equal to minus X. Y is equal to minus X. So you have the line Y is equal to X, Y is equal to minus X. <clears throat> so by Y is equal to minus X, it means when X is equal to one, Y is minus one, it's the opposite. You can tell. So let's go to this. When this is X is equal to one, Y is minus one. When X is equal to two, Y is what? Minus two there. When x is equal to three, y is minus three. X is equal to four, I'm just showing you the line there, there, like that. Then the other way, when this is minus one, then y is one, negative two, two, that's the line, negative three, negative four, four, negative five, five. It's a line that continues like that. Is that clear with everyone? Then you draw, so what you do in an exam, then you draw a, a straight line. I'm not going to draw a straight line, but you now know what I'm talking about. So your mirror line is along this line here. You use a ruler, okay. So now let's figure out the transformation. This part here, where, where is that going to come? Reflection along the Y line Y is equal to? It's going to be minus two, minus one. Minus two, minus one. My, are we agreeing with him? He's saying minus two, minus one. Minus two, minus one. Okay, that's correct. Wait. Minus two, minus one, okay. Then this point here, this is five, two. What? This point here is five, two. Oh, okay. This was what, was one, one, two. And you said this, do we agree with him on this point here? Tawana, you are quiet. Yes, sir. Do you agree with him? If I draw a line here. Yeah, agree with him. Huh? We'll, then this point, where does it come on this line, on the middle line? This is five, so two. It's, it's going to be minus two, minus five. Minus two, minus five? Yes, sir. Mm. Look at this. Even if you were to draw a line like this, Remember, this is your middle line, like this. Yes, How can it, it has to cut across the same boxes, eh? the other side, I thought you knew that by now. The other side of the mirror, it will cut across the same number of boxes. This is one, two, this is one, two, three, four, five. Then another one there. So how can it be here? I'm telling you. One, two, three, four, is uh, even if we don't use you said method. yeah i know he said minus two what minus five minus two minus five minus two minus five okay that's it looks correct then what else this one here This one, what is it going to be? Minus two, minus five. Okay, that's correct. So uh, it's going to be minus eight, minus one. Minus eight, minus one. So this is the same as rotation. What type of rotation are we talking about? Um, 
180. So this is your shape here. Okay. Draw an image of A of triangle by translation vector this negative two five. Negative two five. Wait a moment. Negative two five. How would you do that? Translation is movement in a straight line. Huh? But just be careful in the exam, you have to check your boxes, your scales. Huh? Your scale is one to one there. So maybe it's, it's going to be easier. So minus two, minus five. So every point is going to be moved. Remember, it's minus two to one and minus five. So it means two units to the left. It's one is to one, it's okay. So one, two. Then I move nine units down. So if I move nine units, so I'm saying do one, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's my new point here. Then this, I move also two units, two like this. Then if I move nine units, you find that it will be exactly there. Clear now? Then this, I move two units like this. Then I move nine units going down, it will come there. Eight, nine. Clear now? Then we have mm -hmm. our... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Image translation. Then we use a ruler. Don't use a freehand. Clear. So translation is one of the easiest things. Now describe fully the single transformation that maps A onto B. A onto B. What type is it? Identifying the correct type is one mark. Tawana, what is that? A onto B. Enlargement, one mark for mentioning enlargement. What scale factor? Enlargement. Scale factor. What's the scale factor? You can tell me is, is it a whole number or a fraction? It's a fraction. It was A onto B. So you can identify this one, two, three, four. Then this is two. So it's two over four, which is half. Even if you were to use this one, two, three, four, five, six, being enlarged to three there. So it's three over six, which is half. So same side, same center, same side of the center, it's positive. So half. The last mark center of enlargement. How do I find the center of enlargement? Look at this. I join corresponding points. Now I can know that if I continue like this, this line here will never meet this line going down. It means the center is somewhere here. Okay, what, this is what I mean. If I'm to join using a ruler like this. Okay, on this, so which means it's exactly on this line here. Then if I'm to join these lines, they see they're going to meet this line at the center of enlargement. Is that clear? You need two yes, corresponding sir. points like this. So what's your center of enlargement straight away? Uh, so that this, so that this not correct. That's not correct. It's this point. Mm -hmm. I have, so I'm sorry about that. It's this point here that I should connect to that. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Like this. So. But use a ruler. Then you connect all the way. Or you connect these, these points here. They will meet at the center of enlargement, which is somewhere here. Are we together? You simply use the ruler. It's not difficult. Then where the two pairs meet is the center of enlargement. It's the same side, so it's positive half. And now A onto C. A onto C. A onto C. A onto C. What is A onto C? Rotation. Can't see this thing. Rotation, sir. Joanna, do you agree? Rotation? Yes, sir. Rotation. What is the center of rotation? If you, you knew those notes that I gave you, 
check this point here. This point is corresponding to this. It is one, two, being mapped to two, negative one. What is that? We say that only happens if its center is what? Is origin. If you remember those notes that I gave. So it means rotation 90 degrees clockwise center origin. Rotation, one mark. 90 degrees clockwise, one mark. Center origin. Clear. Yes, sir. <coughs> so, a question. Yes, that's a question. Um, how do you differentiate between like the to know if it's rotation versus like reflection? Ah, look at this. The reflection can never be like this. Remember, reflection. If I have a reflection like a mirror line like this, this is you can tell. Look at this. Because you have spinned this, it's ninety degrees rotation. It's not reflection. You can tell. You need to know the properties of reflection. A reflection. You've got a mirror line. It might be, it might not be a straight mirror line, but you've got a mirror line. So you can tell whether something is rotation or reflection. I've rotated this. I should be able to know that this is rotation. Okay, thank you, sir. Now, you see what we were talking about that. The table shows you, oh, I think there's something missing, huh? Confirm there's something missing on question three. Sorry about that. Um, is that Monoda who was asking me the question? Yes, sir. Okay. That's fine. I think there's something that happened when I was trying to load this question. 2020. Oh, let's just check question three. Something is definitely missing. I knew that something was missing. <clears throat> now, here is some information about masses of potatoes in a sec. The largest potato has got a mass of that. That's the largest. The range, range is always highest minus. Who knows? Highest minus, smallest. Eh? Lowest. Yes. So it means we can find the lowest first because we need that for this table here. What will be the lowest? Let's work the lowest. It's 170 for the highest minus 69. What did it? It was the 174 minus 69. 105. So it means the lowest is 105. Afternoon, so sorry I'm late. No, that's fine. Then the median is this, the lower quartile is this, the upper quartile is this. So I want to draw a box and whisker diagram. Okay, so now the first thing is we always start with the median. The median is one what? 148. So let's go and plot 148. 148 is two boxes before 150. So somewhere here. Okay, so this is where I want. So you can use a ruler to draw your nice, uh, your nice diagram there. So this is my keyword, my Q2. Then I need to go and plot on the upper quarter. So the upper quarter, lower quarter, inter quarter. Are we given the upper quarter? We are not given. See, that's a good question. Huh? How do you find the upper quarter? We need the upper quarter. Who remembers? How do I find um, inter quarter so range? At inter quarter range is upper, upper quarter minus lower quarter gives me the interquartile range. So it means we have the, 
So we now know that the interquartile range is what? It's 38. So all I'm saying is that 38 is equal to Q3, which I don't have, minus Q1. What is Q1? Is the lower quarter, 121, like that. Make sense with everyone? Then simply yes, add sir. the other side. So Q3 is equal to what? 121 plus 38? 159. 159. So 159. This is a very good question here. They made you to work. So 159. Let's go to 159. 160, 159 just before that. So this is my, but of course I draw a nice diagram, Q3. Then my lower quarter, we're told that is 121. 121 there. Of course your box have to be perfect. I'm just doing this one, Q1. Then you join your boxes with a ruler, Q1, Q2, whatever, Q3. Then we are not done. We need our boundaries. Huh? And who remembers what I said? I said you need to check if your boundaries are not outliers. And how we check that, this is the lowest value. What is our lowest value? We said the lowest value is 105. So we need to check this 105. I said that formula is Q1. That's what I said. Minus 1.5 times the interquartile range. So which means it's can you see that? Q1, what is Q1? Is the lower quarter, 121, minus 1 1.5 times, what is the interquartile range? 38, can you do that? 121, what do you get? Minus 1 1.5 times 38. We get 64. So this is okay because this is above 54. So it's, it's in then the correct range. So we plot that 105 there. So 105, I think well, this is 110. So each box is what again? Oh, 101, okay, so 105. Okay. So something like that. Are we together? Clear? Then we check again yes, the upper quarter, the highest value there, if it's okay within the range. So this time we add. So we say Q3, Q3, which is 159, plus 1 1.5 times the interquartile range, 38. What do you get? 200 and something, huh? so it means 179 is okay. If we, had, if we had found a value less than this, that value becomes our boundary. Are we together? That's why we do that. Because you might ask me why we do that. So 174, 172, 172, 173, 174. There. Clear? Done. Are we together? Four marks. Four good marks. So you might get something like that. You just need how to play. Now calculate the mean. How do you calculate the mean? Three marks from this table, Tawana. How do you calculate the mean? Max frequency. So it's mark times the frequency plus six times two plus seven times 12 plus eight times two plus nine times zero, which is zero, plus 10 times one, divided by the total frequency. I add all this. So it's eight plus two plus 12 plus two plus zero plus one, like this. Clear? This gives me 40 plus 12, plus 70, sorry, 84, plus 16, plus 10, all over, what do you get there? 2 plus 8, 10, 10 plus 12, 22, 22 plus 2, 24, 25, I'm sure that's 25. 
Okay, find that. What do you get? Um, I'm getting 6.48. The rest? What are you getting, guys? 6.48. 6.48. 6 okay. Clear? Very easy. Yes, it's when we have a range of values where we have to find mid table. If it's like this, it's very easy. Okay. Oh, who's coming so late? What's happening with this purpose? Number four, solve the inequality. So inequality, you treat them the like your what? Like your equations, huh? Is that clear? You treat them yes, like sir. your normal equations. Yes, sir. But the rules apply the same. That when I'm, the only rule that is not there is when I'm dividing by a negative. I'll show you just now. So if I move eight this side, it becomes three m. Let's do that together. Minus eight m. Less than or equal to. Let's move twelve the other side so that I have minus five, minus twelve. I'm sure you can agree like this. If I subtract there, I get minus 5m is less than or equal to minus, I'm increasing in the negative, you can check from the calculator minus 70. Now this is where it becomes where students lose marks there. They forget the rule that when I'm dividing by a negative, this changes direction. Are we together? So the answer there is actually m is greater than or equal to. Negative divided by negative, positive. 17 over five. Are we together? Oh, uh, yes, sir. If we are dividing by a negative, the inequality sign changes direction. Tawana, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. So that's the golden rule there. Now let's do this. So this you can do cross multiplication, I'm sure. You see that it's not difficult. Let's cross multiply. It's 15 brackets, 2x plus 5 is equal to cross multiply 14 brackets, 3 minus x. Remove the brackets. 15 multiplies everything in the bracket. 30x. What's 5 times? Uh, 15 times 5. 75. 75 is equal to 14 times 3, should be 42. Confirm from your calculator, minus 14x. Move things involving x on one side, so 30x, this ne negative comes, that side comes plus 14x. Move the, the, that, the other side is 42 minus 75. Now add these two, you get what? 44x is equal to subtract these two guys. What did it? Um, minus 33. Uh -huh. Divide both sides by 44. I'm sure I see that. So you get uh, 11, 11 there. You know that. So you have minus 3 over 4. Clear? 11 goes into that three times and goes into 44 four times. Yes, sir. Solve. I think someone had asked me or that time I was asking about quadratic. Quadratic, we haven't done much of those quadratic um, simultaneous equations. I think they've been bringing that more and more for the extended there. So we use substitution. Huh? So y is equal to that. I can now go and substitute the value of y there in this equation here. I use substitution. So it's x squared plus two brackets. Y squared means y times y. So it's minus four x like this squared. Huh? Yes, is equal to 64. 
for. I've substituted the value of Y with this so that I only have to have terms involving X. So then this is X squared plus two brackets, four minus X multiplied by four minus X is equal to 67. Uh -huh. X squared plus two brackets. What is four times four? 16. 16. I want you to pay attention. There, what do you get? You get minus what? Minus 4x. But if you multiply these two, you also get minus 4x. So you're increasing in the negative direction is minus 8x. Then square the last term and the last term, you get a positive x squared. Like this. Brackets. Is equal to 67. Clear? Yes, sir. Now, Simplify by multiplying everything by two in the brackets. So plus 32 minus 16x plus 2x squared is equal to 67. Now bring like terms together, you're going to have x squared plus 2x like this. This x squared plus that minus 16x, there's nothing else involving x, plus 32, bring this, the other side is minus 67, is equal to zero. Agreeing? Yes, sir. S add these two, what do you get? Three what? x squared, minus 16x, hope you are following, then what? What's 32 minus 67 from your calculator or from your head? Negative 35. Negative 35 is equal to zero. Okay. Which is true. Then what do we do now? Yeah, we are there. What do we do? X3, X squared minus 16X minus 35 is equal to zero. That's correct. Then what do we do to solve that? How do you find the value of x? Is it factorizable? That's what you need to think. Huh? 3x squared can only be 3x times what? Times x. Huh? I'm sure you know that. There is no other way around like this. So maybe it's factorizable. This is negative what? 35. Huh? So I can... Okay. Yes. You can okay. use minus 21 and positive 5. Minus 21 there. Yeah, but this is negative. Yes. 35. So what are you saying? We, we, are you saying minus 7 or what bothers you? One factor is two terms. That when you multiply, they give you that. Minus so what you are simply five, saying, maybe it's minus 7 here. Unless that's what you're saying, not what you're talking that's about. What I'm saying. Because if you now I'm multiply saying. this, that's where we get the minus 21 from. Then this is plus five, like this. I'm, I'm saying like we multiply three times minus 35. Ah, uh, that's a long method, I know. I know the method that you're talking about. It's fine, you could get it. See, we have found the answer straight away. Because this gives us five X, this gives us minus 21 X. If we subtract, we get this. Clear now? I know the method that you're talking about. It's a correct method, but it's too long. Is it going to zero? Yes, you can use that. You still come. You still go come back to this. Okay. Is so. equal to seven. We see O three x plus five is equal to zero. So when this is equal to zero, it means x is equal to. If you move this, it becomes minus five over three. So we have x is equal to seven O minus five over. Sorry values of x or minus five over three. Then we go back to our equation now to substitute those values of x. We know that y is equal to four minus x. Y is equal to four minus x. So let's apply the. So maybe I need to give you exercise on this quadratic equation so that you practice. So y is, will be simply equal to four minus seven, which gives us what? Negative three. We are saying when x, so this is negative three. 
Then on this, what will be the value of y? It will be 4 minus minus 5 over 3, which is 4 plus 5 over 3, which is 4 and 5 over 3. And what is 4 and 5 over 3 as an improper fraction? 4 and 5 over 3 is it's 5. 4 and 5 over 3 is an improper fraction, someone? 17 over 3. Yes, 17 over 3. 3. Yes, correct. 17 over 3. Or 5 and a third. Clear now. 5 so. and 2 thirds, I'm sorry. Clear down. Maybe I need to give you more of these ones. You see, six marks. So I think this week we'll do some quadratic equations. Huh? We'll you see how many marks are there. Six good marks. We should not lose any mark there on that. <clears throat> now all the lengths in the question are in centimeters. Okay, don't be confused by all this. The diagram shows you a shape A, B, C, D, E, F made of two rectangles. The total area of the shape is what? Is that. Show that the area, this is equivalent to this. So total area, I'm sure you agree that I can close this if I want. Then I have area of this and area of that. Make sense? Yes, sir. Area of the big one is this length times that. So that area is x plus 3 multiplied by 4x minus 5. Like this. Make sense? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All the lengths of the question I sent me, the diagram shows the shape made up of two rectangles. The total area is this. So we're going to work with this. Now, what is the area of the small one? Now I have this, but I don't know this. So how do I know this distance here? EF. We need to find EF. How do you find it? Yes, 2X all the way, minus brackets, X plus 3. We subtract this. So that will be 2X minus, you see why it's important to put brackets, minus X minus so if you subtract there, you get what? X, huh? so it's X minus three. Are we together? EF is equal to X minus three. So it means that plus the area of this now is now X plus one brackets X minus three. Or that should give us 342. Clear now? Everyone, yes, now let's let me show you how you do this quick. This times that is what 4x squared. Tawana. This gives you 12 what 12x, but this gives you negative 5x. So you're saying 12x minus 5x, like this, and you get a positive what 7x middle term. Then the last term is simply last term times last term minus 15, like this. Clear? Let's do the same x times x, so it's plus x squared. This times this, that's 1x. This is minus 3x, so it's x minus 3x, like this. And that gives you minus 2x middle term. Last term times last term minus 3 is all equal to 340. Regroup, so you have 4x squared plus x squared plus 7x minus 2x minus 15 minus 3. Can you see the regrouping we are doing? Let's add this, what do we get? We get 5 what? x squared. Subtract there, you get what? Plus 5x. Five five there, what do you get? We are increasing in the negative, we get minus what? 18 is all equal to 342. Move 342 to the other side. So that this is simply zero is equal to 5x squared plus 5x. What is, so this would be minus, this would become a minus. What is minus 18 minus 342? 
minus 18 minus 342, we get negative what? 360. 360, very good. Divide everything by five. So zero is equal to x squared plus x minus 72, done. Clear? Yes, sir. Five marks. Um, sir? Yes? So next week, is it okay if you could help us with conditional probability? Yeah, it's easy. We are struggling with conditional probability. Hmm? So we were literally just told, like last week. Yeah, it's not difficult. We'll talk about We'll give you questions. Yeah. And we'll work Thank on you, sir. Okay. Now, factorize this. Let's see who are good at factorization. X multiplied by X, Tawana. What are the factors? Two, you see the difference. Always be guided by this plus one. Two factors of 72 that have got plus one difference is nine and eight. Nine and eight. eight. So it means the positive number is greater. So it means plus nine. That's how it, that is. And this is minus eight. Clear now. So in terms of solving, it means I'm saying x plus nine is equal to zero, or x minus eight is equal to zero. Solve that, it means minus nine or positive eight are our solutions. Is that clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Work out the perimeter. So now I'll show you how you work out the perimeter. Now look at this. Can you have a negative length? You can't have a negative length, huh? so we use what? We use eight. Then we go back to that shape there. Perimeter is simply your outside. So we now know that this is, so what will be this? Eight plus one, huh? this is nine. And all the way there is 18. Huh? Was, uh, sorry, no, it's not 18. It's, remember we said X is equal to eight. We can't use negative nine. So two X is what? 16, huh? 16 going down. Then this one, what is four times eight, 32? Huh? 32 minus five? 32 minus five is 20 27. Then this is eight plus three, 11. Like that. Okay. Now, this one we said this nine. So if we subtract nine from 27 so that we get this part here, what is it? Nine minus 27? 18. 18. So now let's simply add eight plus 16 plus 27 plus 11 plus 18. Oh, plus this one here. Because it's your outside. So what is that? We had said, okay, 16 minus, what's 16 minus 11 going up? It's five, huh? Yes, sir. So this is five, yes. So add nine plus 16 plus 27 plus 11 plus eight plus five. That's the perimeter. Outside distance. Should get uh, 86. That's what you're getting. 16 plus 27 plus 11 plus 18 plus 5 plus 19. Are you getting plus? Are you getting 86? Are you guys are you getting 86? You're yeah, quiet. 16 plus 27. Don't you have calculator? Yeah. Plus 11 plus 8. Sorry, plus 18. Sorry. Yes, sir, 86. Yes, 86. Perimeter. Is that clear? Yes. And they give you two marks. Calculate the angle. That's the last one for today. Calculate the angle DBC. DBC. D, B, C, uh, okay. So you simply draw a line like this. So that's Pythagoras. Huh? 
this one there. We now know that this is 27. We know that this is 11. This is a right angle triangle. So we are given the adjacent. We are given the opposite. Clear. So it means sine from Sokatao. Sine theta is equal to opposite, which is 11 over. Oh, why did I say sine and you are quiet? It's not sine. It's opposite and what? Adjacent. There is no longer side there. We haven't found that. So we use tan. And you guys are quiet. Tan theta is equal to opposite, which is 11 over 27. Then theta is equal to actan. 11 over 27. What do you get? Twenty two point what? Point two. Yes, sir. Okay. So we'll see you. I said quadratic. Then you said conditional. Okay, we'll set out some questions. Ah, uh, sir, and also nonlinear sequences. Uh, well, you're not there when we cover them. Okay, it's fine. It's okay, you can write on the group. We'll look at them. Okay. We'll see you for chemistry. Thank you, sir. Thank you, we sir. Said, uh, we started quarter past. Eh? By the way, down. Quarter past, not one. Quarter past. Okay. Give you a break. Okay.